Alright guys, welcome back for some more Valami It Means Something. You know what? I'm just gonna call this Valami IMS from now on, because it's much more quicker that way. Picking up where we left off, we're gonna grab some new enhancements for us. Like a sword and an armor upgrade. Now, as I was about to say in the uh, last part about when that Huffin' Girl explained that the hammer is one of the mis one of the uh, items that could cause us not to get a certain item. Well, that only means an upgrade to it, and that item is the hook shut. If we had the hook shut, we can't get an upgraded. We can't get the upgraded hammer. We can't get upgraded anything if we have both of them. Which I don't really want to own anything. Oh boy, those guys hurt. I would not recommend going down there. Those guys lock on too. Oh boy. Let's get some health. Because I don't want to die right now. What do you got to say? Level 6 hides a great secret. Hmm, okay. Level 6 is in this area. The hook shot is actually not too far. We're actually going to go grab that right now. Oh, watch out for ice rocks and attacking tiles. Okay. Irma Gerd Maradurm, so I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh, it's in that chest, so I have to go around. I can't make that jump. Patra Patra! Already? Yikes. You're scaring me. And inside is the hookshot. That's what I really want. That and I really want something to stun with. Because I don't be getting the boomerang either. But there's also some miniature items that prevent us from getting... From getting, uh, upgrades as well. Ooh. Hey, 100 rupees. Ah, uh, why can't the uh, hookshot stun? Oh, at least we can stun those. Can I push this? Yes, we can. And to total darkness, I can't see. I'm not gonna bother going through them. These things react to sword beams. That is level 6 right there, but... I believe it's kind of early to go in there. Right, Petra, Petra. There's a fancy glove at the northeast that makes you hear the thoughts of objects. Like those flowers that we saw in that patch of dirt. And then these logs, too. Yeah, we can hear what items they're thinking. What? Oh. If we hit this, we can uh, activate a little secret. Oh, right, I don't have a... I don't have a, yeah, a way to live if I am not careful. And that is a Trigoria. Uh, thank you, that would be so lovely. What we got? Last corridor, level three. Bomb to the left, like Huffin did in the south corridor. Okay. Just watch out for anything. I think I need to hit this. No. There we go. Now I can go talk to that little huffing girl over there. Okay. Let's move on up. It must be hard with so few items here. At least take this red bomb. Place three at a time. Wow, we got upgraded bombs already, so we can put down three at a time. Handy, if you think about it. Alright. And let's move on. Watch out. And there's another huffing girl here. You wield small shield? Well, better than big here, I help you. 
as you can see, we have two super bombs, but I haven't picked up an actual super bomb to use them. Yes, yeah, so those girls there, if you wield the small shield, they'll give you items for free. Free health and fill up your bombs to the max. If you wielded the magic shield, they would uh, not give you anything. They'd just be like, why do you have a shield against us? Why do you betray us and get a big shield to guard yourself? Essentially, the girls just think you're distancing yourself from them and they'll kind of be offended. So don't get the uh, magic shield. And if you have the mirror shield in here, it's even worse. The girls will take away your bombs and kill you instantly. So don't get the mirror shield at all. Yeah, weird as it sounds. Uh, I think I need to hit you. Okay, maybe not. Looks like a hookshot point, but it's not. Alright, now I said I was going to get myself some more armor. And, well, in my state right now, I kind of could use it. And I think the, uh, I don't know if the red bombs are more powerful than the blue ones. All I know is that we can place more at a time. Ah, he shot me through a building. And we got a puzzle to deal with. Let's put that there. That'll activate that, and it'll prevent those switches from going up. And where am I going? Oh, wait, no. Move you out of the way first. Then that. And then we can push this one and this one. And we get the hydrogen jewelry. Essentially, blue ring. Okay, we got the blue ring. Now, I'm gonna go through level two. Hey, what's this? Gift yourself now. Arrows, I will go ahead and buy. I don't even think... No, I don't think we could have bought any. No, we need a quiver to buy arrows, so yeah. That cave there is where you put the Triforce in. Yeah, the Triforce still exists in this game. Alright, let's head through level 2. Let's head back to Rare Candy now. I think that Fire Switch activates that portal over there. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not too concerned with completing this dungeon. I'm not too concerned about completing these yet until I grab the items I want. So we're going to be without the candle and the whistle for a while. So we're kind of screwed if we come across any dig doggers. But I just want to head to uh, Rare Candy and get myself an upgraded sword, which we can do right now. I just wanted the hook shot. <laughs> Because I need something to stun. And whoop. I don't think I want to be. Oops, we can't enter from there. Right. And we don't want to go that way. Oh, there's something there. Ah. Ah, oh, we need a quiver to buy to get arrows, I thought so. This will open up a shortcut from Vitamin. And that'll open up a shortcut there. Shortcuts. Nice. Oh, wait. I think we can grab that item that was here. Power across. Spin attacks might increase four beams. Cross beams, yes. We talk to him. He'll fix the lens of truth for us, so now it kind of gives us a wider range. Nice. 
And this is also where level 4 would be, but we need the whistle, but we're not going to grab that. Stunless rope. Oh. Ah, well. Weavers. Wow, those guys take a punch. I can't go through those uh, blocks yet. As we can see, we need the boomerang to get what's there. So, geez, we have to go all the way around. Why couldn't we just cut the grass here? Well, I know where we can get the ladder. Quickly as well. Let's just grab a lot of items. Go in here. Buy something. Order. No. And once we exit, he'll throw us into the well. Even though it looks like we just walk right in. <laughs> and this is why I wanted the hook shot. There he is. And very harsh spin splitting zoles. Five of all things. Ermagerd, metal, metal murderms. That drop magic all the time. So if you're low on magic, find metal murder, find metal murderms, and they always respond to. Eesh. Can't stun them. Then again, you never could. And they net us a heart piece. Sweet. I hate it when they just split. You don't know where they're going to go. And hey, very And the map of this place. This ain't a dungeon, it's just here. Okay, nothing there. And toads. That act like tactites. Ah, nope. Nope. Yeah, they didn't give me anything. And a chest we need a key to open with. Threat. And more magic, but I need the ladder. Darn it. I forgot that I could have gotten the ladder, too, just to grab that. Oh, well. Huh. Thank goodness the hookshot gives you invincibility when, uh, you have it shot like that. And there's a key. Unfortunately, to get the upgraded hookshot, we won't be able to get that until we get the, uh, forbidden items. So yeah, we're gonna be left with just this basic one for now. Inside is the boss key. Okay, watch out for the snake-like Zora thing. I fired and it didn't respond. Uh, Zoles, I hate it when you split. You just don't know where they're gonna split off to. Another key. We well, haven't been everywhere here. Should do increase damage to their back. And we need the hammer to get down there. I'll have to remember that. I don't even 
recall what's down that way. Compass? And it's so obvious as we go north. You stay there. And we can talk to a candle. What? Oxidation makes light, heat, and consumes source material. It uses up oxygen and greets. Yeah. Whatever. And watch out for these guys. We got the uh, boss fight. Although we can stun them. I didn't know we could. So it's a good thing I got this. Inside is the Daybreaker, aka White Sword. So now we got our sword and armor upgrade. We won't be able to get another one for a while. And I don't think you can kill those things quick. Alright. And we get sword beams as well. I don't know if they're any more powerful or not. Oh well. Ah. Okay. Oh! And those things reflect even sword beams. Watch out! Requires the candle. No. Watch out, bomb the rocks already. Woo! More bombs? Oh, thank you. Ah! I forgot how much damaging those guys can do. First death. Well, no deathless run. And again, I've never done it on this game. And again, I've gotten reckless with uh, trying to get better upgrades. As a matter of fact, we're going to go for one uh, we can grab right now. Forgot how much damage a bomb to rock can do. I can talk to a flower, but why would I? The dots you see on the map insinuate that there's a level there. Here we are in the south school. And it's basically platform jumping. Except I didn't want to jump over here, huh? Alright, watch out. Yoink. Whoa. And there's some huffing girls to talk to. One of them will give us the ladder. And this one will refill everything else. And I don't want to fall down. I said I don't want to fall down. Yikes! What's down here? Patra, Patra. The hammer is right there underneath that pot. But I'm going to forego on getting it. There's an item there, but we need the hammer for it. arrows, but that would just be a waste right now. And this is grain. The biggest area. With nothing in it. And that thing we can't open. I'm not even going to worry about grain. Grain is just one big dirt area with weird enemies. But I'm really wanting to head to this blue area. Oasis. Inside here. Potions. I think we want to go in here. You won't find fun useful in all buildings. No, but we'll find level 14. But we can't do anything to survive in there. No way. Those enemies require the hammer to kill. Well, actually, I'm upgraded in here. And I'm gonna buy this. This is bait. This is bait of the game. And what else 
do we got here? What do you got to say? Good for you. Place to open, and what do we find? Info on C and D. Nothing I really am desiring. I think what I want is over here. What do y'all got to say? Okay. <laughs> we can do them all, it really doesn't matter. Slash is ours, but here's what I find weird about this game. Not that. We can slash down to up. Okay, I've never really done that. Ooh, a portal. And we find the shortcut here. To level one. Is this the same one that will take me somewhere? Oh, this will take me into green. And we do have the map of this, if I did not explain that briefly already. Ooh, a cave. What we got in this cave? Um, no. <laughs> what do you take me for? These arrows are for a sword upgrade, but we're not going to grab that till much later. And there's the dungeon in the middle. That will net you the B end, not the B ending, the C ending. C1 and C2. There's two in that sense. The D endings, there are three of them. And I believe this is a dungeon. This is level 17. But there's something we can grab in here immediately. The Golden Stone Hand. So yeah, we got an upgraded Power Glove already. The original one is back in level 4. I thought, oh gosh. Thermolas. Personally on my channel, we have not seen Thermolas since Amy Rose 1. And level 17, I am not even going to bother completing right now. There is a dungeon I can complete. Well, complete per se. No. I don't think we get our hookshot upgraded until level 12. Not level 9. What am I thinking? Level 9 is for the hammer upgrade. I think. No. No, it's level 9. I don't remember right now. Actually, yikes. Jesus, these guys. Luckily, these guys drop fruit and they heal you. But what I'm really looking for is a tag up here that will fix our lens of truth even further. He's just mildly standing here. There he is. Yep, now we have the fully upgraded lens of truth. Need arrows for that. What do you got to say? Ah. Okay, well, we'll do that soon enough. As for what dungeon I can complete, uh, well, as far as getting items are concerned. One of them is in level 13, but I need to get the raft for that. And the raft is in level 5. It's all the way down in shade dice. So let's head to level 5, and that'll be a good place to stop. Alright, off to level 5. It's a shame there's no good shortcuts like that around. Okay. Oh, this is bombable. I think we do need like an upgraded power glove or anything to get what's down here. Gibdo. Netting a heart piece. There we go. 
That gives us two of them. I'll feel very good if I had five hearts to go into level 13, because it's quite difficult there. From what I remember. Although now with our ladder, we can go this way. Yeah, it looks beaten up. But there's a patch or two here, and I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Yeah, this is the first game I've ever played where down slash is. Down slash being swinging like this instead of up, how we're so used to playing right now. Essentially, this character is much right-handed. Now we can get to the other side, thanks to our hookshot. Is there really any need of what's over here? I never figured out how to grab that potion over there, or grab that uh, upgraded, uh, upgraded, uh, magic jar. Something tells me that jar I was looking at suspiciously might have something to do with it. I think. Okay. Let's head to level 5. Level 5 is... over... up here, I believe. Except I'm wrong, that's 2. Level 5 is probably on the other side of this important cave we saw. Yes, this is it. Here's level 5. But next time, uh, we will explore level 5 and get the item here. Flami IMS, to be continued.